Encountering a DirectX error while playing Remnant 2 can be frustrating, causing disruptions to your gaming experience. These errors often stem from compatibility issues, corrupted files, or outdated drivers. Addressing them is essential to ensure smooth gameplay. If you are encountering crashes, error messages, or failure to initialize DirectX when trying to play Remnant 2, this video is for you. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who has the same issue so that we can help them too. Once you're done, let's begin. Fix 1. Update or reinstall DirectX. Downloading and running the latest DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer from Microsoft will replace any outdated or corrupted DirectX system files with the most optimized modern versions. Resolving any compatibility issues caused by having damaged, missing, or incompatible DirectX files. Fix 2. Install the correct graphics card drivers. Visiting your specific graphics card manufacturer's website and downloading the latest GPU-optimized drivers tailored for your exact model with certified DirectX 11 compatibility will resolve any potential conflicts, bugs, or performance issues from outdated generic drivers that lack the necessary optimizations needed for stable DirectX interoperability. Fix 3. Adjust Game Settings if enabling higher-end graphics options overloads your PC's capabilities, systematically lowering demanding settings like display resolution, texture detail quality, shadow rendering, anti-aliasing, and post-processing effects will lighten that strain on your hardware and DirectX by reducing graphical workload, memory usage, and rendering overhead to prevent bottlenecks. Fix 4. Validate Game Files Utilizing Steam's built-in game file validation utility to automatically scan for and replace any damaged, corrupted, or missing game asset files can rectify stability issues caused by problematic game data that may interfere with proper DirectX functionality during gameplay sessions. Fix 5. Uninstall conflicting software. Checking for any utilities, applications, or services with code hooks incompatible with DirectX environments and properly uninstalling them can eliminate instability and crashes related to software conflicts. Fix 6. Clean boot into safe mode. Booting into Windows minimalistic safe mode provides a clean DirectX environment free from other processes and drivers helping identify startup programs that may interfere with initialization. Fix 7. Update Supporting Drivers Ensuring supporting software and firmware like motherboard BIOS chipset drivers, and hardware controller drivers are updated to their latest stable versions can rectify any indirect instability or compatibility issues with DirectX. That's it! If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share it to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this to others.